So the Hershen family bought Kentucky Kingdom last week, and I'm here to give you a small breakdown of my thoughts, fam. After the purchase, we were left with several questions. Will Keys of the Kingdom happen this year? What's up with the leaked RMC Raptor that was supposed to come out this year? Is cinnamon bread coming? Will there be beer? Well, fam, you're in luck, because today I am here to answer all those questions for you. So will Keys to the Kingdom happen this year? The answer is yes. So Sarah Anderson tweeted, So, do we still get Keys to the Cancelled Kingdom this year? And Jefferson replied with, No question. Hashtag KTTCK, meaning Keys to the Cancelled Kingdom. Also, the Drunk Riders made an irrelevant meme about us somehow losing the showdown you've all been waiting for, part two, on Twitter, to which we responded in gentlemanly fashion. To this, Jefferson responded, Don't worry, redemption at the kingdom will be worth the pain. What a nice guy. Be safe to say, it's happening. For those who are unaware, Sarah Anderson is the newest member of Coaster Studios. Jefferson Richardson is the head of the social media team at Kentucky Kingdom. The Drunk Riders are our arch nemesises, and they do a podcast about theme parks, and they get drunk while they do it. Make sure to check it out, fam. They do a great job, and you can find their podcast on Spotify and SoundCloud. All right, on to question two. What is happening with the leaked RMC Raptor that was supposed to happen this year? What I am being told from trusted sources is that the park hit some financial issues probably due to COVID, which killed the project. Will Hershen revive it? This remains to be seen. On to question three. Will there be the famous cinnamon bread from Dollywood at Kentucky Kingdom? Well, I'll let Craig Ross, the new CEO of Kentucky Kingdom, answer for himself. It was cinnamon bread. So we're going to have to figure out a way. If any of you have ever visited Dollywood, that's a really popular food item. So the chatter is already burning up. We'll work to find a way to get cinnamon bread into Kentucky Kingdom. Um, All right, fam. On to the last, and in our opinion, the most important question everyone seemed to have on social media. Will there be beer? Well, according to Jesse O'Daniel, who is another member of the Kentucky Kingdom social media team, um, she tweeted out, PSA, beer and alcohol are here to stay. The HFE food team is on site this week, helping us land more beer sponsors, both national and local, and has come up with some lit, love the wordage, new cocktail ideas, stay tuned, and come thirsty. Say less, Jesse. You know we will be coming thirsty, and we could not be more excited that beer is here to stay at Kentucky Kingdom, one of our favorite parks to drink at, fam. All right, guys. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some of our thoughts. Personally, we thought this was a great move for Kentucky Kingdom, and I understand Hershen family's pass with parks such as Darien Lake and currently with Wild Adventures, but this is different. If they decided to neglect Kentucky Kingdom like they did at those two parks, it would not be a good look for the Hershen family. Could you really imagine them neglecting a park that has restored itself and has come as far as Kentucky Kingdom? That would just be a terrible look, and their name would truly be tarnished. Also knowing how Silver Dollar City and Dollywood are ran, we're just excited to see the things to come at Kentucky Kingdom. Like, if they turn Kentucky Kingdom into a Silver Dollar City, but with beer, we could be talking the best park in the country. Also, could the sale of beer at Kentucky Kingdom influence Hershen to start selling beer at parks such as Dollywood and Silver Dollar City? Well, fam, we can only hope. But you have to think, if Hershen really does well from the profit of beer at Kentucky Kingdom, why not give it a shot at parks such as Silver Dollar City or Dollywood? It could only benefit them. And us. Alright guys, well I hope if you still had any questions over the Hershen family's purchase of Kentucky Kingdom, we answered them for you. And also may you laugh a little. Please don't forget to comment and let me know what you think of the purchase. And if you really enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Stay rad out there, fam. And until next time, peace.